Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Are you ready to give justice for all, everybody? Um, Even the people who don't deserve it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody deserve justice? That's a good... Philosophical question for the day by Colorful Artie. Anyhow. Make your senior thesis. Welcome back. <laughs> that has absolutely nothing to do with computer no, science. No, it does not. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm saying, you. I'm saying you. You out there in YouTube you. land. Yeah, make that your thesis. So no, we're, not you. we're still on case two reunion and turnabout. Part two, uh, one. The trial. Two, one. Now they have to make it. Yeah, it's part two, but the first part of part two. Okay. Because there's going to be like It's like Mario parts. when you get to like the second world. Yeah. Course one. Anyhow, let's start. June 21st, 9.48 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby, number one. What? Prosecutor Von Karma, you mean? No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? Manfred Von Karma. He was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks, all so we could win. He also electrocuted. Which yeah, that... that's what the nasty tricks were, perhaps. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each one of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they'll turn out to be. It'd be really funny if they're just funny. Nice. It's no good. Mystic Maya! Oh, never mind. Wrong person. Pearly! You showed up! Thanks for coming all this way! Whoa! She's never left the village! I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother's watching over the trainees. She said they have training for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then... then you came all by yourself? Yep, I snuck on out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here! Of course not! I ran! That's... I can't... Oh my... If it takes two hours by train... Oh my... How does this work?! <laughs> Hold up! Did she run all night? Holy cow, Pearl, your stamina, though! Can Pearl? I follow some of that? <laughs> Pearl, you're amazing! I wish I had your energy, and holy cow, I'm glad you didn't get eaten by wolves or something. <laughs> Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a train? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who's that? Um, he's Nick's rival. Well, he's also a friend. I still remember him as if I had just seen him only yesterday. Every trial was a scorching, fierce battle until the very end. All two of the ones you witnessed. It was always back and forth with them. But when you're rivals for life... Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm... I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He... He's... he's gone. And he's not coming back. What?! Well, wait! Wait a second! What is that supposed to mean?! Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Is he dead? Me. I d d he's just gone! <laughs> oh, um, sorry, right. I was going to tell you I was moving to Britain. <laughs> it's very nice. There's lots of rain. Well, never see you again. Goodbye. Uh, uh, let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. Nick? Wait, so is it gonna be Pearl and Maya and you all standing next to No, little... Pearl's in the gallery and Maya has to be in oh. the defendant's seat, so it's just us at the bench. Okay. June 21st, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number, number two. What the? Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? Surprise, it's a woman! <laughs> Wait, 
What? What is that? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So, sorry I told you it was a dude and I said I wanted it to be a surprise. Because you, you got spoiled on something else that'll happen in the game. It's fine. Okay. What is with this girl? Shoot. <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you finally prepared? <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, oh yes, Your gosh. Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Oh, shoot. Now I gotta talk. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what this girl is. She seems very proper. Almost like Edgeworth 2, which is cool. So, I'm trying to think of, like, what she do. She's, like, blue hair, which is cool. Yeah, she's got the same Von Karma hair, basically. Oh, yeah. Von Karma's successful. Mr. Phoenix Wright. You must be a little shocked because I'm a woman, correct? Hold on. So this kid is the famed prosecutor Von Karma? I am Franzis Franziska Von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Is that a... What? That's what? a whip. Is that a whip? Is she gonna kill us? Revenge? Is this about her father, Manfred von Karma? Um, if it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can. Oh! What? <laughs> you can't do that in court! Oh, yeah. Welcome to the co I'm crazy court system. I'm talking. If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person, I beg of you. Ow! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Okay, Pearl's also like, Wow, is this what a court trial is like? And there's the girl just waiting people. Yeah, I don't know how she's not getting arrested for Prepare assault. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I don't know. Maybe Cross her voice will evolve as I figure it's out. It's actually not that far off from her objection voice. So. Okay. Well, once, yeah, once I hear her objection voice, that'll be easier. Prosecutor Von Karma, your pro opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate. And that is perfection. Oh, wow. I wonder. Huh. <laughs> the defendant, Maya Fey, will find no escape from her guilt on my wrath. Oh, yeah. She's on trial, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very well. What is the defense's position? Your Honor, does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Get used to saying the word fool a lot. <laughs> Actually, this is literally the female version of Von Karma. Yep. Except not smoking. Well, maybe she's smoking. <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes! Objection! I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense. Who the heck did Von Karma marry to have... Uh, we, we never see his wife. I guess... Oh, wait! So if that's his... Hang on. Hang on. So I want to point this out. If you go to profiles... Oh, Mia got added. Deceased. Uh, Meanie Miney, also deceased. Okay, I want to see... She's this. only 18. Wow! Wow! Uh, same age as Maya. Pretty so, cool. so you know how Von Karma's always my granddaughter. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just pointing that out of his butt because she is not married. She has no kids, like nothing like that. She has the same. Hold on, go back. She has the same eyes as the de deceased girl. Wait, what? Yeah, they have similar eyes. Not really. Hey. No, not at <sighs> all. Not at all. <laughs> A plea usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of himself. We could very easily make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because to plead justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> cursing, that's cute. How foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright... Then shall I- I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like, father like daughter, I suppose. Yeah. I hope that his wife's a little normal. Never see his wife. I don't know. Witness your name and occupation? Yes, sir! My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. <laughs> yeah! Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Y yes sir This is literally evil <laughs> Mia. 
which is not <laughs> working for me. I need to hear her object, which I, I will. Move. Um, if everyone would please look at this map. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they... Well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Ch channeling a spirit? The look of disbelief on the judge's face is... <clears throat> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Thank goodness. Ah, and that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? Hmm, I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I have ever presided over. Floor plans added to the court record. So, how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. Witness testimony, cause of death. Well, we didn't get to see the stink faces on the bottom screen. We, that's for the cross-examination. Oh, yeah, that's right. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point-blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. Okay. I'm just trying to think about this for a second. Maya has no weapons. This dude must have brought in both weapons, or they were, like, relics. Uh, but how is a gun a relic, right? Lo a loaded gun. A loaded gun, a relic. So that's why I'm like, okay, I think this is... I bet pressing that will answer a lot of yeah. this stuff. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Ugh. Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Cool. Autopsy report finally added to the court record. <laughs> The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Mm. Now the stink faces. Oh, she doesn't look stink faces much. She's more just like, you're so going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. No, we're not presenting already. That's, so, that's, that's a little bad, presumptuous. Yeah. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe? Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim? Now, why would he have- Objection! Objection! Okay. Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims, the defendant, Maya Face, were also found on the grip, sir. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Mm, I walked right into her hands there. Now I see what you meant by you were like, well, there's like no dudes in this case. Yeah, there's Phoenix, the Judge, and Gumshoe. I think those are the only- and Turner Gray who dies! Nice. <laughs> so that's literally three people. <laughs> Point blank, huh? So, about how far away was it? It was anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. It's like a foot, okay. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Mr. Phoenix Wright, I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. <laughs> uh, excuse me? She's just shaking her finger. Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn? When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets real hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. Me either, that's probably really important. But before the- that's like the rifling marks of this case, so don't tune out. <laughs> stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. This? I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belonged to the FaZe, sir. Oh, maybe it was a relic. And thing. of course, Maya FaZe's fingerprints are all over it. Hmm, all over it, huh? Uh, this does not look I wonder, good. I wonder if um, Morgan was, like, getting everything set up, including getting, like, the dessert set up, and she was like, whoops, forgot my strawberry knife, left to that in the sp <laughs> spirit channeling chamber. <laughs> she Probably was making not strawberry important. desserts. She was making <laughs> stuff like that, which makes me think it might be something. Unrelated? Um, either unrelated that made a huge problem, or... Like, Maya, could you cut up the strawberries? Oh, sure! <laughs> Well, that's how her fingerprints got there. Ugh, this does not look good. <laughs> what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? 
The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause- HOLD IT! How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes Maya look like she had stabbed him with the intent to kill. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. So, question, we can still get penalized for holding someone, right? For what? If we press statements, we can get penalized in this? Okay, they will let you know, basically, they which They will let you know, okay. Yeah, I don't think we encounter that until the third case. Okay. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yup, sure as sure can be. One look at the wounds and you'd come to the same conclusion too, pal. Fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantaneously. Does it matter, then, which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Ugh, what a pain. I'm surprised she doesn't have any accent if she's in Germany. She doesn't really have an accent for her objection. No, she doesn't. That's enough. We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Good. Very well. The court accepts them into evidence. So I'm Pistol trying to figure out, to I mean, record. we have the evidence available. And knife added to the court record. But, like, is it like there's a table in the middle with the evidence on it? Or is it like... Oh, I don't like, really know. Like, where do they hold it? I, I have know. no idea. I'm pretty sure it's all in Phoenix's pocket. Oh, yeah, so autopsy report. Here, Phoenix, you hold this knife and this gun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stabbed in chest, then shot at point blank. Gunpowder residue around bullet hole. Okay. Pistol, murder weapon, was grazed. Two shots fired. Bears Maya and Gray's uh, yeah. fingerprints. And we know that because there's a shot to the head and a shot in the um, yep. thing. Knife, murder weapon, a small fruit knife. Belongs to the phase. Bears, bears Maya's fingerprints. Okay. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this time. And the two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them? Hmm, this does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the summary <sighs> just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there's no room left for doubt, is there? That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Y yes Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You would change your plea in less than ten minutes. At least hers was right, though. This court will be done in three minutes! So I can go to my spot! What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this through all the way. Plead justified self-defense or plead not guilty. If we plead justified self-defense, no matter what, because Maya is 18, she will be in jail, which would not work. Right. So we need to plead not guilty. I think. I think we need to plead no, not guilty. No, it's true. Plead not guilty. I've never actually seen what this does. If Maya's convicted, then it's all over. I really should play it safe and try to soften the blow. Your Honor, the defense would like to change its plea to justified self-defense. Huh. Understood. Let the record show that the defense has entered a new plea. There's nothing else I could do. Mia? You already hold the key. If you don't believe, you cannot win. If we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be destroyed, and she'll be labeled a murderer. Like her mom. Or no, her mom wasn't labeled a murderer. Can I really... Can I really let that happen? No. Your Honor? Yes. The defense... The defense retracts its previous statement. And instead will prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that the defendant is not guilty. Good job. Well, not good job. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective! Yes, sir. Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, yes, sir. I love how she doesn't care that, he, that he's calling her sir. <laughs> now see here, proceedings are run by... Eek! Oh, oh yes, of course. Go ahead, detective, <laughs> wow. and give your testimony. This judge. 
I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. <laughs> Witness testimony, incriminating evidence. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. What is she wearing now? That. <laughs> like, yet another plot hole. I have hole. no idea. As you can well, see... Oh, what? Maybe she has more than one purple shirt. But she was arrested immediately. She couldn't... She didn't have time to change. Unless they're like, oh, we're confiscating this. Change to this other overcoat. Yeah. They're not going to be like, oh, you have to be in here with bloodstains on your dress shirt thing. They're, right. they're gonna make her change. She obviously has like 50 of the same outfits. And she never <laughs> wears anything else, so... That's true. Everyone in this game has 50 of the same outfit. Except... Yeah. Larry. Yeah, Larry's the only one who's worn something different. <laughs> it's like a Santa costume. <laughs> As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Um... He brought a gun! He brought a gun! <laughs> so therefore, he's fighting back. Hmm, so this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links Maya Faye to the crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Maya's bloody costume added to the court record. Oh, boy. All right, Mr. Wright. Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? Ha! Huh, what's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. Incriminating evidence. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating- Hold it! What is it? Why didn't you say so in your testimony earlier? Uh, you're kind of scary today, you know, pal. Come now, Mr. Wright. There is no need for that kind of attitude in my court. Oh, right, and some girl whipping people is not? Uh, Alright, just please stop glaring at me like that. Phoenix has got one heck of a glare. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Maya's costume? Yeah, she was wearing this when we arrested her. Maya... She's wearing her channeling costume today, too. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? Pearl's wearing the same thing. <laughs> I want to see Maya in, like, well... Maya can wear pants. Like, I mean, she can pull them. Sure. But I just, you want to see her in street clothes. Street clothes Maya, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. This blood on the costume... If they don't oh, have oh, a yeah. scene where she goes and gets burgers in street clothes, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> Clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the crime. Yeah, of course there's blood on it. You can just look at that. Oh no, she just spilled grape, grape juice, juice on her. Blueberries. The, <laughs> the blood on the costume. Lab results show that it is the victim's blood. Oh, they did check that. Of course they did. Hmm. So there was blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. <laughs> hmm. Were there where where there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? <laughs> Where there? Where there? That sounds like a name for like a bad clothes store at a mall that would Where close there? down. <laughs> Get it? Close down? Yeah. Um, well. If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad. Not enough time. Time to move on. Oh, do you have a spa appointment too? I, I could see you being at the spa more than I could I'm see surprised. Manfred. Okay, I'm surprised that this girl didn't, like, rebel against her father. Because I'm going to guess that he was like, You are going to become the best prosecutor ever! Yeah, but instead of being also, like, No, not going to do it. She's like, Yeah, totally! <laughs> sure, but like, she seems like someone who has a lot of spunk to her. And I could see her being like, No, Dad, I'm going to go and do this! And then, there, then he's like, I have the worst dog. I'm going to run the wet noodle. <laughs> Not even the wet noodle, just, like, a different job. Or, like, it would have been funny if she ended up a defense attorney. I want to be a mailman. <laughs> ah, yes. Miss Von Karma is perfectly correct. Uh, now even the judge is on her side. If I bite off more than I can chew here, what should I do? Press fervor, let it go. She's Miz? Miz? It said Miz. Are you sure it's not Miss? M-S? M-S is... That's M Miss. What's Miz? Is it Z? M-I-Z? Miz is like a mispronunciation of Miss. Isn't it's it? Or is it like Old Miz? 
No, Miz is like when you're definitely old enough that you could be married, but you're also but you're not, not. young. But you're not young enough that you could be Miss. So it's like if you're in your forties, you might be Miz. Oh, like old Miz McGrizz. Or like Miz Frizzle. It also. I always thought it was Miz Frizzle. No, it's Miz Frizzle. It's also um that if double you're, S and the Z. It's sound also very if you um are divorced. Or have been you have been married, no, but you're some, no longer. Some divorcees sometimes. is still like being called Mr. or Mrs. Sometimes, yeah. Like, it, it's like, basically uh, it's who, the super confusing one. Like who's that lady in the Moody's book with the pet rat? Oh yes, Mrs. Bagwell. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's so that's what I was thinking of. They're <laughs> yeah. like, oh Miss Bagwell, she's like, it's Mrs. They're like, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. If I pursue this and I turn up nothing, it could be disastrous. <laughs> You're right, Your Honor. There is absolutely nothing more to add to this. Good. Well, Detective, please continue with your testimony. Great. Why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. There must be a clue somewhere on this costume. I swear, if it is strawberries, I'm gonna laugh. I just have to look harder. Mr. Wright, Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. Wow. Ah! Looks like my time is up. So about the costume, there's nothing wrong. There's one little thing. I wanna try the little thing. We'll get there, no worries. If I pursue this and I turn up nothing, it could be disaster. Your Honor, actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Where is this problem you are talking about? What about the white? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. 